Hi, welcome to AFTV, a 2-0 win to Arsenal here at Molyneux. What a performance from the boys. They're just absolutely flying right now. I mean, to be honest, we didn't start off well. Mm. I mean, Wolves, they settled with the five at the back. We were struggling to break them down. We were struggling to even pass fast. Yeah. Um, slow passes, but Odegaard, of course, came into his own. Mm. And yeah, I would say, I'd say, I never thought I'd say, you know, Xhaka out the team. And I was actually like wondering who's actually going to come on and yeah. who's going to take the mantle. He had Al Nenny warming up, Vieira warming up. I was thinking, who's next, who's next, who's next? And you know what? Vieira stepped up. He mm. did step up. Had a lot of criticism recently, Fabio Vieira, but he stepped up today. Do you think he can change a lot of, you know, the negative opinions towards him? Um, I think his playing style, he needs to keep learning the Prem. I don't think you can do some of the things he was doing in the Portuguese league. Yeah. Um, I think... Apart from apart from his key moment in the assist, he was, I think he was poor today. Wow. I do think he was poor today. Um, I think that he needs to learn how to be more careful with the ball. Mm. Um, coming on in Jacker's position, you have to be more disciplined than Odegaard's position, mm. in my opinion. So, mm. you know. You spoke about how you know they put a five at the back and it was hard to break down. Do you are you concerned with that when it goes to other clubs that are going to go? Because remember, these are bottom of the table. Are you concerned that Arsenal are going to struggle to break teams down? Because now. We're sitting first. Every team is just going to be like, come at us, try and try and break us down because they, they, you know, we got such a threatening attack. Um, you're right. Now we're going into the second half of the season, top of the league. Teams are going to sit back more. Mm. We're going to need to change from our plan A. Right. And that's where the Cronkies come in. Mm. We need the Cronkies to support the club. Um, if they're serious, mm -hmm. if they're serious, we can actually challenge for the league. Yeah. Whether we can win the league is, you know, but. We can definitely challenge, but the Cronkies, it's up to the Cronkies now. What do they need to do? You're saying what, they need to invest back the team? What are you saying if it's, if it's the Cronkies, what do they need to do? We need two or three players, definitely. We need two or three players that are going to challenge the first team, 100%. Yeah. 100%. So how much money are you looking or wanting uh, or expecting them to be putting forward in January? Because remember, January window, bro, you never really see big, big okay, money being spent. Okay. Well, if we could get in a Modric, yeah. if we could get in... Uh, Tillemans, uh, Danilo, or... That's a lot of signings in Jan! Okay, okay, two. We need two. We definitely need two. <laughs> I hear it, I hear it. So it's down to the Cronkies though to really invest now to, to push for that Premier League title. It's all up to the Cronkies. This is a, this is our best chance we've had in, what, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years. I haven't seen, I haven't seen Arsenal win the league yet. Mm. So, obviously, 0-4 hours alive, but I didn't watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is our only chance, let's be, let's be real. Yeah, do you expect them to, you know, to come home with something this season? Whether if they don't get the league, do you expect a trophy? Is is what's 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 a disappointment for you as a fan this season? Is it if they drop out of the top four? Is it even if they get fourth and they get Champions League football, but they don't get a trophy? We still be disappointed considering where we're at right now. No, um, top four again. Before the start of the season, I said I wanted top four, and I wanted a style of play. That's the biggest thing I've seen this season: a style of play. So you got one of the two so far. I did. Um, just one note though. Odegaard, right now, is better than De Bruyne. <laughs> Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.